is beamed back to Earth in a series of ones and zeros over the deep space network. I'm not sure how. How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's um, Saturday, no newspaper. It's Saturday the 20th of April. Attic. Um, attic? And there's bats in the attic. Hmm, I guess. Ghost Tube is joining us. <laughs> uh, it's Saturday, yeah. Uh, we have an online paper, but there's like lots of stuff going on, I guess. Because I think people have been too obsessed uh, with with voting for foreign wars and the murder industry uh, here in America to actually understand how angry Americans are. Um, when you have the strongest, loudest voices uh, in Republican in the Republican movement, grassroots, furious, calling for Mike Johnson to be vacated. Uh, the people here, my, my colleagues, have not heard the message. So I'm looking forward th for them to go home on uh, hearing hearing from the folks back at home. But this is the sellout of America today. When we have members of Congress in there waving the Ukrainian flag on the United States House of Representatives floor, um, while we're doing nothing to secure our border, I think every American in this country sh should be furious. It it's, who's going to vote for these people? <laughs> um, well, one... The Trump trial is on. It's on Monday, which is also Earth Day, which is, and then that's Monday, and then Wednesday, colonoscopy, a different kind of Earth Day for me. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded thing came in the mail. I mean, in the mail. It arrived, so I had to go pick it up at the uh, pharmacy. This is. <laughs> the stuff. It's all powder right now. But then you add water to it and it's four liters. Four liters. It's like... Mm -hmm. I had to do it all the, 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 the night, night before. The part I dread. Anyways, that'll be Wednesday, but that's... I don't know what's going on. It messed me up. I... But Monday is I told her. Earth Day and Trump's trial. Ooh. And the guy who lit himself on fire. What the heck is going on? Okay, it's just like that Vietnam photo. You know, the monk protesting the Vietnam. Uh, not really. It's just not just it's, just. it's only just like that because it's so. Mm, why did you do that? Mm, gotta get that out of my. Oh. An odd detail about that, you know, um, I mean, the guy burned himself um, in the crowd outside the trial, and uh, people were like freaking out, and they tried to put him out, like with a coat and stuff, and they brought him to the hospital. He's in critical condition, I, I don't know, ooh, bad burns is bad. But the weird little add-on is that he, just before he did that, he threw pamphlet flyers about. <laughs> hey, 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 pack the flyers. And the flyers had uh, a bunch of little conspiracy theories, like uh, like the QAnon thing, I suppose, in the little flyers. And I, I guess it's a testimony to um, don't do the QAnon conspiracy. <laughs> don't get wrapped up in conspiracy theories. Don't pay attention to those or don't go down the rabbit hole because that guy went down the rabbit hole and he just freaked out so I don't know what the first but anyway the trial's still on it's still going on but the only bit about that trial I'll tell you is they selected the jurors pretty fast which is cool I guess you know bam let's get it going but then they have alternate jurors and they got um six or something they should have like maybe more just in case because if that goes on, and jurors can't be jurors, you know, like it's scared or something, and they have alternative jurors come in. If they somehow run out and they go under 12 jurors somehow, then it's automatic mistrial. Usually it's a mistrial after that, so it's like the potential just to have a technical F up. 
So anyways, there's that. <laughs> what else is going on? In the big news, Israel. <laughs> Israel and Iran are at each other's. They're saber rattling. And um, Israel did its retaliatory thing. They fired stuff at Iran. Okay, they hit something in Iran, a place called Esfaha. It's I-S, but it's Esfaha. I think is how you say it. And it's a like it's kind of military s it's not nuclear. There's no civilians. Shovel. Shovel? Yeah, they had to, they, they had to take a shovel to it. <laughs> but they they bomb up that and then they put some other missiles that didn't explode on the ground. It's like they're not trying to do like death damage, they're trying to do like I'll scare the piss out of you damage. <laughs> doing this kind of thing. And then something else happened in Iraq, in the south or whatever from Tehran, the place, I don't know, I forget the name of it, but another bomb in Iraq blew up near some uh, military pro-Iran military area. So it's like, did they do that or did somebody else do that? The people don't want this stuff. The people that live there in those countries don't want this thing going on. I mean, I like, mean, like uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, I, I guess it's quelled. They, I'll get you, but I didn't get you, so you can't retaliate. Because if it's retaliation, then it's like it's goners, and then every uh, so for them, they, Iran crossed the Rubicon, trying to do that little dome of the dome of the Iron Dome repelled it all, but now the Rubicon was crossed again. So there's like no more Rubicons to cross. The Rubicon is a river that. Julius Caesar wasn't supposed to bring his troops back from victory. He wasn't supposed to bring them back into Rome. It was against the law Camera. to bring troops into Rome. And he just went, eh, screw it. I made a big military victory. I'm going to march into Rome with the army. It's like, oh my God. And later became emperor. So crossing the Rubicon, once you do that... Disrespectful. You, you, I can hear you. Okay, you can't come back. Just in case somebody didn't know what Rubicon was. It's a river. And there's like no more Rubicons left. <laughs> that's all there is to that. <laughs> and what else? I think that's it, I guess. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, oh, one more thing. Is we went and saw this movie called Deep Space. You know, Michael and I were... He wants to make a, a sci-fi flick, so we're absorbing some science of space and deep space is you just uh, go to the IMAX for a short 45 minutes so it's not full price kind and you see um, this James Webb telescope it launched in 1920 1922 no 2022 2022 so about to a couple years ago James Webb telescope they launch the telescope, open it up in space, and it's far out there, so it has the biggest mirror, the most kind image, and then they saw so far into the deep space, deep space, it's like, those aren't stars, they're galaxies. And then there's the farthest part of the space I where hear you. the little red dots were stuff that formed when the big bang just happened and it was like little stuff and um it's pretty cool i mean it's imax but it's, if you like the space telescope stuff and some of the pictures that they you know it's like yeah it's cool and they have some animation but that you know that's the black hole <laughs> space <laughs> that's pretty cool and then they bring up you know are we alone and how big is space and and the Big Bang, you know? Like, what was before the Big Bang? It's a little dot in it. The whole universe and space and... It's trippy. But it's trippy because astrophysics is trippy. Anyways, it's going to be Earth Day. And I just want to show you... Here's something for Earth Day. This is petrified wood. <laughs> it's petrified wood. It's even polished on the end, so... So, so, this is like a petrified, isn't that cool? Um, that's just a little note attached to it. Thanks for sharing your, I thought it's a bed, it's bids. We very much appreciate all you hope. I hope you, and I was like, what? Oh, shop again. It's like, best recall. She wrote a little note. Oh, thank you, Nancy. 
I got this way back on eBay. Petrified Woods, cool. Anyways, let's look at, uh, see what's going on in the news real quick. We don't want to have too much. Let's make it quick. Look, uh, Maui County attorney refutes August 8th findings. So this is the timeline that they published, the second by second for the Maui disaster wildfire. You covered a little bit of it. And Maui County, which has Lahaina in it, they said, no, no, no. <laughs> And the reason they're saying no is because they didn't get a copy before they released this timeline to the public. So they released it to the public first. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> and they scrambled and they're scared as can be. And they looked in it and what they refuted was, um, hey, this part where you look like we did something wrong, we refute that. <laughs> it's like uh, they did somehow, at one point in the timeline, they declared an emergency situation because the wildfire, I mean the fire, which would have been a fire department thing, was actually out of control. And they didn't know uh, it was out of control at first. So at some point they are declaring it. And so at the point at which they declared it, oh, no, I refute that. Because it makes them look bad. That's why. And Aloha Aina, Aina is land. Aloha. Oh, love you land. Earth Day is coming up on the 22nd, which is Monday. <laughs> so get your rocks and build a rock. Oh, you look, shouldn't be here. They're cleaning up stuff and make, oh, cleaning up stuff and doing that stuff. <laughs> Sports, blown away. So um, yeah, the UH uh, volleyball, <laughs> they're losing. They lost the UC Irvine? Oh God, no. Oh, it's just like, here's like, uh, the one time in the stand, Sheriff Semta, a crowd of 6,251 people sat in stunned silence when Chakra fell awkwardly just before the UH won the Albuquerque Invitational because he got injured. <laughs> stunned silence. And they're saying the similar feeling after they watched, after they lost four consecutive trips, oh, four trips to NCAA National Final came to a frustrating end. So it was. He, it was just like when the guy broke his knee. No, no, we broke. We're broken. So they lost. Oh, uh, UH. Oh, too bad. Wow. Come on. You know, hinges on one guy. Come on. You know, just relax. Eh, geez. How about back in the day? He's relaxing. See, like, oh, Dick Van Dyke. He's 98. Oh, good for you, Dick Van Dyke. Uh, oh, relax. Remember back in 1966? He just like ease up by just going to the garage and go, dang, <laughs> grandpa really polished his car, left it pretty polished up here. I wonder if there's any gas in here. Is this one horsepower? Oh, this is Ray Garber of Los Angeles. Wipes his dust off his 1912. Ford. Like, that's the year the Titanic went down. Uh, Ford, 1912 Ford, he picks up the antique automobile at the Matson Freight. Okay, so he picks it up and shipped it over here as part of the 10-day horseless carriage. Oh, thank you. And I will go drive this through Waikiki. Um, okay. <laughs> you do have that horn, don't you? Something like that. Oh, here. Oh, look, political cartoon. Do something, the house on fire. USPS. It's on fire. Uh, mail it a letter to the fire department. Postmaster DeJoy. Burning down the house. What, they let that guy go? He was a Trump appointee. They let him go. He burned down the house. There's a little bit. Um, Mario Wildfire. The guy set himself on fire. And this other fire, 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 fire. A little too soon for that. <laughs> Let's see. What should we do? This one? The rough patch? The roads? In and out with the trash? Let's just do that because everyone. Visitor shares praise for Honolulu's Aloha spirit. Honori Sin, red eye flight from Auckland to Honolulu, my wife. Ooh, Bill the St. Mary. My wife and I were befriended by Chuck. <laughs> it's not for you. It's not for you. What Chuck? Chuck the killer. Chucky? Befriended by Chuck, a retired professor from the University of Hawaii. He was affable, humorous, and informative. 
While waiting at the baggage claim, he offered to have he and his wife, who was picking him up, to drive us to her hotel, even though it was out of their way. On the 30 minute drive, <laughs> wait, wait, they're from somewhere else. I'm <laughs> talking to two voice and <laughs> teaching to two voice. They pick it up pretty fast, the tourists. On the 20 minute drive, they acted as tour guides, pointing out areas of interest and imparted some local history. When they drop off a saw, <laughs> they drop, when they dropped us off, hello, good morning. And when they dropped us off at the hotel, we felt somewhat indebted, but they wanted nothing. They gave us a hug and a handshake and said it was just part of the Aloha spirit. A spirit we consistently found the rest of our time in Honolulu. John Lanier, Penrose, North Carolina, I guess. Yeah. NC. <laughs> NC. 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 North something. Carolina, I think. That's gotta be it. Um. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Just don't expect everybody to be driving you all over the place and giving you lays and hugs and oh, and just a little part of the lost spirit. Mm. And I'm be chauffeuring you around, be like tour guide for you. Get one Uba. <laughs> get one a tourist map. Get one Uba. I mean, no, no, just rent a car with a tourist map and just drive yourself around. <laughs> Go to the north. Just get out of Waikiki. That's your. There's your big tip. Oh, it was part of the Aloha spirit, yeah. But I'm sure they were, um, they're just nice people. <laughs> they're just being nice. Um, where am I here? Oh, um, well, have a great Saturday. And Deep Space, eh, it's short, it's IMAX, it's, um... Screen. It's screen, it's on a big screen, IMAX. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's short and it's not as, it's not full price, but... I don't know. It's worth it. Just a quick movie review. Aloha. It's going to be. Wait a minute. I gotta press the button. Aloha. <laughs> it's it's kind of kind of cloudy a little bit. It's supposed to be sunny. What happened? Okay. Aloha to you though. Hey. Oh, have a good day.